Hello everyone, today I'm making a creamy garlic and mushroom pasta. Very easy and perfect for your mid-week dinner. So I've got a little olive oil in my pan. Uh, my heat is on medium. And I've got you know, some mushrooms. This is... Um, Portobellini mushrooms and it's going into my oil and just let that go and while this is frying away I'm going to chop about three to four cloves of garlic okay so the mushrooms has a nice color Ooh, my jersey a little story time this is a very very old jersey that i got from my late mother it's probably i don't know how many decades old but when my dog um sunny boy was a pup i used to carry him like a baby and when he was teething yeah this is what happened <laughs> I've got some skirts as well these bottle. some skirts and dresses that's long and then he would bite on it and I'll pull him along <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna add my garlic and while that's going let me just show you my other ingredients okay I have some parmesan cheese, uh, some salt, butter, cream, fresh cream, 500 ml salt, I mean pepper, so your pepper is to your taste, your black pepper, um, there's the parsley, I reserved a cup of the water, uh, the pasta water, and this is 500 grams of fusilli, I normally use a fettuccine but I didn't have. And that's it. So the pasta water is just in case the sauce is too thick. You can just thin it out with some pasta water. You can use milk or little water if you forgot to keep some or reserve some. So now we just want to, on medium heat still, cook this um, garlic, fry it, not till it's brown, brown, but just lightly. Just to take out the rawness. Okay. I'm going to add my salt. This is just about half a teaspoon. The parmesan cheese is salty. And later on, you can always taste if you want to add more. But always less is more. No? You can't take the salt out again. If it is salty, too salty, my tip is add more cream if you have but yeah be light with this with the, your hand with the salt okay now I'm going to add my black pepper I'm going to add again later on and I'll add my butter now and there is another way of making this if you don't have cream you can make a white sauce with your flour your butter and your milk you can add herbs if you like a little thyme mixed herbs oh this is smelling so good now the minute my butter is melted i'm going to add my fresh cream and my pasta and I will lower the heat a bit because I don't want too much of the cream to evaporate. Because the pasta will also soak in from the liquid. Now, if you want to, you can serve your sauce, your mushroom sauce, separate on top of your pasta. Or you can mix it through. It's up to you. Yeah, they love pasta, so they don't care. As long as it's pasta, they'll just eat whatever I give them. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, that looks good to me. Yummy. I'm going to add the 500 ml of fresh cream. A little tip when you open it, even if it's not expired, just give it a smell. Okay, just to make sure it's not off. I don't want the sauce to thicken because it's going to thank you washing machine for washing the washing okay I'm going to add the pasta So it's now your mushrooms, your garlic. Oopsie daisy. Da fly. A fuzili. Opa's making a fence for the garden, a white picket fence. I also didn't cook my pasta very soft because I know it's going to soften further in the sauce. Okay. Here we go. And then parmesan cheese, you can put it on now when you dish up. I'll add some now. And then fresh parsley. And then maybe a little bit more pepper. And like I said, you've kept this, if it pulls the sauce too thick, you've got some water. I mean, pasta water, sorry. And there it is. Your creamy garlic and mushroom pasta. Easy peasy, no long story. I'm gonna dish up. Let me see. One second, guys. Okay, I'm gonna dish up. Mm -hmm. Cheesy wheezy. And some parsley. There we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me see. There we go. Nice pasta. Easy peasy. No long story. Didn't take long. And there we go. I think I'm going to taste from this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go now. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. Love you.